Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a 2019 Chevy Colorado and we're going to be showing you how to remove the front door panels. Now I will say that these front door panels are a bit more tricky so we gotta be a little bit more patient with these. The tools you'll be needing is a clip remover, a type of hook, two flat heads of different size and a seven millimeter handheld socket. There's five screws we need to remove. There'll be two at the bottom, two here, and one located behind your door handle. To remove the door handle screw, you're gonna want to remove this cover. Insert it into the slit here, right on the right side. And there's a seven millimeter screw. Again, this is a seven millimeter. To access the two screws here, you're gonna want to remove your power window and this cover here. So you'll want to start up at the top, insert slowly, and slide. Then you'll want to disconnect here, go ahead and with the tab, press it down. You'll see your two screws located here. In order to access the opening, you're gonna to want to remove this cover. In order to remove the clip, you'll want to insert one of your flat heads here on the side. With the other one, you can press down on the clip. After you work through most of them, you'll want to just remove the last one located here. Okay, so you'll see your two access points here. I've already removed one. I just need one more. There's two more screws at the bottom, one here and one on the left side. You'll just want to start unscrewing them. Once you've finished removing all five screws, you can go ahead and start pulling the door panel. You're gonna to wanna to start on the inside. There's a small indentation here, the bottom left, and then just pull. Work your way from the bottom. Okay, and then you'll want to unclip the last clip here. Then you can go ahead and slide up carefully. You do have a few cables here. These are your cables you gotta disconnect. So you'll have your door handle. You want to press down, slide it out, and to the side, the ball goes up. Yeah, okay. okay, action. For this one here, it will be slightly different. It does have a locking mechanism. It's the small red one you'll want to remove first and then you'll move on to the black. Okay, you can press down on the black. Okay, you can just go ahead and set this aside. If a clip does end up getting stuck to your door, you can go ahead and use your clip remover and remove it. Once you remove the clip, you can go ahead and put it back onto your door. We have this one up here. There. Once you remove the door panel, the felt will come with it. Now, in order to remove it, you're gonna want to remove these clips here. They're pretty similar to the clips located on your power window. What I recommend is removing these and then putting them back onto your door. Now, in order to do that, We've already removed some, but this clip will be in like this. On the top part, you're gonna wanna use a small flathead to push down on the clip, and then it'll come out. Okay, so you'll want to insert them here. And you'll want to place back all five. Now you'll want to start on the right side of your door. You're gonna to wanna to slide this in behind this plastic covering here. And then you can go ahead and lay the rest. Once you finish putting the felt back on, you can go ahead and start putting your door panel back. You're gonna to want to connect all three, so make sure you connect your door handle here, your audio, and the power window. Once you do that, then you can start from the top and work your way to the bottom. That completes the tutorial for today. If you're going to do the driver's side, it's going to be the exact same process. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section below. 
Be sure to like and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.